What are some of the things that maybe people get wrong about UI UX design or may not understand and like either scare them away from it or lead them to think like, oh, like my thing was I felt I, I wanted to learn development because I felt that designers made less money. And I'll, I'll be honest, right. when I was like looking at it, I was yeah. like, oh, the design stuff is cool, but like programmers make more money. So I'm going to go with the, the more money thing. And I feel that that's kind of true. But when you get to a certain level, you get a good UI UX designer. They're they're making okay. six figures. They're making bank. Right. So what are some of the things that people get wrong or may not understand about UI UX when they're trying to get into it? Right. So you have probably more of like a developer audience. And one of the, I get this, this question very often. I've made videos about it and stuff. And it's like, what's, what, why is it necessary to, to st step into a design app like Figma or something or sketch or Adobe XD, whatever. Uh, and, and just put in all this work, just designing stuff. And it doesn't even work. Like you, you can't even use it. Like a lot of developers ask that question. You're like, you know what I do? I just stuck in the code. And I just, you know, I write out my HTML, CSS, and there it is. And it's like, well, yeah, but it's pretty much 99% of the time, it's not going to be as good as, as looking. You cannot iterate quickly with code. You might think you may be the fastest coder, but guess what? You can take like the, the average Figma user or even like a beginner figure, Figma user. You ask them to move this over here. They can just take their, their mouse, you know, the cursor and just move it over there. So you can iterate so much faster and you can develop your ideas way faster in the design process using an app like Figma. So, and there's a, there's a reason why we have a separation of roles. Uh, we have, there's a reason why there's a UI UX designer and then there's a, there's a reason why there's roles for developers, front-end developers. You know, they work with each other and their specialties, you know, they, they result in, in a product that's gonna be a lot better. Now, of course, you could be a full stack dev and you could be a great designer and you could be a great coder but you know that takes a lot a lot more time obviously like to learn all these skills and stuff so that would be my my number one thing i, I tell people is like the the you want to get into if you want to be able to be like a one-man show and be able to design uh, great looking websites on your own like yeah you, it, learning figma or these other apps is a necessity uh you can't you should not just jump in i, I wouldn't say necessity i would say it's it's a very um it's, it's very much encouraged <laughs> instead of just going in the code and just start writing out stuff from scratch. Now, if you're using a framework, of course, that has these components already, I remember bootstrap was a big thing. I, uh, I'm not sure what, what there is these days. I really have a tailwind's up. big, but I, I, I tailwind, it's, yeah. it's a little, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've played with it a tiny bit and I just, it's too much. So I don't my know HTML. If, so I don't know if like tailwind, tailwind has actually pre-designed components. Do they have that? Uh, they do, but I think it's part okay. of like they're paid, but okay. they're not yeah. even pre-designed. I would say that they're pre built and okay. uh, from what I've seen, it seems like they just give you all the, the CSS classes and structure right, it right, as it should right. be, but it's not like you just, you yeah. know, drag and drop the, the component and right. they, they might, I don't, I, I haven't worked yeah. with it enough, but it and doesn't so, seem like they do. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, unless you're working with one of those things, you know, uh, like material design or whatever, yeah. like you, you can, that kind of will negate having to use it, but it's still going to benefit you if you spend the extra time so that you can understand the flow of you know how pers a person gets from point a to point b another thing i'll say on this uh topic is uh, if you're interested in like ui ux design and like you can't design for crap right i i play guitar i play drums and stuff and this is it's it's an analogy that i make it's like when i wanted to learn how to play really fast shred guitar i didn't just like start trying to come up with my own solos you know i covered other existing solos from like crazy people like Ingbe Malmsteen and Steve Vai and all these crazy guitars, you know, it's like I learned by copying other people. And that's another thing I say, like with UI design, like you can go to some great sites, like I dribble.com, Behance or whatever. And if you, if there's a design, it's like, wow, I wish I could be able to design that because we are great observers, right? We can see, like listen to a great guitar solo. And it's like, oh, that's amazing. And then you, you can, you can tell, we can differentiate between really quality and like really crap as an observer but when you go to try to like do it yourself it, it takes a lot of practice right there's people for sure just didn't do that whatever so what we learn the, the way we learn best in my opinion is when you're starting out as just a matter of practice you don't put this stuff in your portfolio 
uh, is, is to copy other designs, like physically, like you have two monitors, ideally, you put one of, of the design that you're trying to copy, you get Figma on the other monitor, and then you just you physically just start recreating the design. You can use different content, different photographs and assets and stuff like that. But I, I really honestly believe the, uh, the process of doing that as a matter of exercise uh, builds in that muscle memory. Uh, so that when you go to create your own unique design, you're going to take influences from these other designs that you've, you've created. And it's not the only way to learn, of course, but it's a, it's a great kind of like, a, I guess you could say like a hack, so to, so to speak. Uh, so because I've, I've, I've written my own guitar solos and I, they're better for it. I'm better for it because I was learning other people's guitar solos and I kind of figure out how it's done. And I build in that muscle memory in my fingers, literally. In this case, it's yeah. kind of more of like a mind control uh, uh, when you're, you're dealing with design from, from that aspect. Uh, totally, totally. It's uh, that that whole uh what is it a good good artist copy right, great artist right. steal right and yeah, I've, I've heard of copy work i think is what it is i made a video about it where um it's it's the same concept but i think authors do it where they basically just literally copy the books of their favorite authors and write them so that they mm -hmm. kind of develop that muscle memory of like the storytelling or just I, you know there's definitely some science and truth behind that and the the whole like of course, you're going to have to copy or at least get inspired by other people. Everybody does it. And that's how like new trends come up. And that's how you yeah. also stay on the pulse with a lot of that stuff. Because if you're right. not constantly at least keeping an eye on things occasionally to make right. sure that you don't yeah. just get left behind and there's like a new cool design trend that a lot of people are doing because yeah, trends are trends, but the truth is that trends end up molding future designs and and right. if you're falling behind or not keeping up with a lot of that stuff, I know it sounds daunting, but eventually it's, you know, you either evolve or you die. And if right. you want to be the the designer that's designing websites that look like it's, it's 2011, mm -hmm. then you can do that. But I'll tell you this, you're going to have a hard time like finding yeah. gigs and to like talk about what you were saying with the um, process of basically like designing first then coding i'm guilty of of what you said <laughs> myself like yeah i like no i'd rather just start coding it but i've noticed that when i do at least even take like a piece of scratch paper and, and say like all right this is where i want my you know my sidebar and right. this is what i want over here and just this is a rough napkin right. and pen wireframe even that is 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 right. better than just jumping into the code unless you are within a framework because yeah frameworks right. it, it, like i said my previous job we still wireframe stuff though like really low fidelity stuff even though we were within a framework and sometimes i would prototype right in the code and show that as a live prototype instead of doing it on a design tool but that was because of the fact we were in a framework well we we still before we wrote any code we showed business wireframes because there's a lot of discussion that goes on around that. And like, even if you're a freelance developer, like, could you imagine if, if you had to show a client what their website might look like, but you had to code it first and you didn't want to yeah. do it in a design yeah. tool? Yeah. Like, yeah, That's you're going to be wor working yeah, a lot harder. I forgot harder. to mention yeah. that, obviously. Yeah. yeah, I haven't worked with clients in a long time myself, but yeah, that's like, that's like yeah. one of the biggest factors, you know, yeah. being, able, being able to iterate quickly because, you know, clients... They know best <laughs> for, sure, for sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and but with a lot of people, yeah. yeah, no, definitely. And with a lot of people who are, you know, trying to become that one stop shop, if they are interested in freelancing, like you got to have some design, like it's right. just, it, you, you can't make good looking websites unless you're using templates to, to right. as, as a freelancer yep. and expect to do it without even like brushing up or being familiar with like right. modern design and yeah and another you know. thing i'll say on just the ui ux topics is like in terms of ui design it's like you, people have to have an understanding of like what the core fundamentals are and they're who depending on you who you ask there's like seven or eight of them you know like i mentioned before visual hierarchy um uh visual hierarchy by the way is just like understanding where to direct the eye first like based on the priority of the elements like what is most important usually it's the headline so that that piece of type is going to be the biggest piece of type on the page um and so that's what visual hierarchy is it's something that's found in all of art not just ui ux design but it's 
definitely hugely important UI UX design. And imagine if all your type was exactly the same size and, and same color and same spacing. And it's like, you wouldn't know where to look, right? Yeah, so that's what yeah. visual hierarchy is. That's real important to understand. Understanding color and contrast, uh, scale, uh, proximity, understanding uh, white space, uh, topography. I mean, those are most of them right there. Um, just to, you know, my UI UX course, I, I spend about an hour, like the very the very beginning, the first hour of all the 18 hours there are, I, I just spend an hour on that stuff. It's the only conceptual part of my course. Everything else is by example, and you're actually doing stuff. But th that's important to have because then it gives you context when you're, you're building out a design, it, when those things are in the forefront of your mind uh, initially. Because then once you get enough experience in, in your designing, 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 this stuff just becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it. So, so, yeah, understanding the fundamentals, that's real important. Um, but th those are probably just a few things I would i would probably make a note to, to people who are developers, especially uh, who want to get into UI UX design. 